tomorrow, one day, it will be the 27th of month of Ramadan. This is the real month of Ramadan. And for this, this night is very holy night. It is night of Laylatul Qadr. Well, in this, in this night, after Isha, after Taraweeh, by the end of Taraweeh and winter, during night time, Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, Allah will send him, Mawlana saying, 5,000 malaika, and they will give salam to all whom they are fasting and praying Taraweeh all over the world and bless them by salam from Allah Almighty. Allah will salute them and bless them by salam, peace and good tidings and blessings. And this year Allah Almighty is sending malaika, not as usual ordinary malaika, but this year this malaika, they will be created from Allah Almighty, from the light of the holy face of Allah Almighty. 5,000 Malaika will be reflecting the light of the Holy Face of Allah Almighty over all whom they are fasting and saying Taraweeh and keeping respect to month of Ramadan. And then from this it will be spread all over the Ummah nation of Rasulullah and then from the nation of Rasulullah it will be spread all over the children of Adam even Non-believers, they will have a plan from this light, this coming this night. And for this is very important night in the whole month of Ramadan, this night of 27. That's why I say the mother, mother we are to and our we are to come and our we we ask in supplication Allah Almighty to support us by divinely knowledge and light through Field of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by the consultation of Rasulullah and by the channels and consultation of Grand Sheikh and Sultan of Audi and Allah Sayyidina Muhammad Nazim al Haqqan so that our hearts will be open to hear and to listen by the ears of the heart, not by this ear. This ear is not well enough to hear or to accept the divine the knowledge which Allah Almighty blessing it to the heart of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Rasulullah blessing it to the heart of Sultan of Awliya Mawlana Allah ta'ala wa rajati da'ina Muhammad al-Mada These things are good for the mind for the physical body but they are not good for our soul Once a big alim came to Grand Sheikh and he was asking him, made for me a sohba, advice. He told him, if I make for you advice, you will hear it. How you are going to hear it? How you are going to listen? So if you say by my ear, you say no more sahwa for you, no advice for you. Since by this ear, never. Because when Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam, Allah ordered him not to eat from the forbidden tree in Jannah, he was listening to Allah Almighty by this ear. And this ear made him to disobey Allah Almighty and to eat around the forbidden tree. Because this ears Allah made them for the mind. And the mind likes too much to hear from the wife. The husband always 
listening carefully and hearing from his wife what she would say. And he will obey. While the ears of the heart only they will listen from Allah Almighty. And for this he told them, you listen from your wife or your wife listen from you. He said, no, sometimes I listen from her, sometimes she listen from her. He said, no, we need for Sahaba for you. Never give a Sahaba, it's going to work with you. The advice to not go to Sharia is enough for you. Because the mind, the knowledge cannot be understood by this ear. Must be by the ears of the heart. Even all of you obeying your wife, but now because we are so close to time of Sayyidina Nadi alayhi salam, we Mawlana is obliged to plant these seeds in the heart. Listening or not listening? Your soul is listening. This is enough. And for this the seed of spirituality and reality and secret and divine knowledge is planted into the heart of everyone whom he is accepting the tongue of awliya. The tongue of awliya is totally different from the tongue of ulama. The tongue of awliya is a reflection of the divinely God, the tongue of Allah Almighty. Who is the divinely God, the tongue of Allah Almighty? The seed of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the one who was translating all the revelations and whatever Allah Almighty wants to give to his creation from secret wisdom, divinely knowledge. It was Rasulullah who was translating, he was the divine divinely tongue to address all life appearing and manifestation appearing from La ilaha illallah. And after teaching them, Allah Almighty, then He created the perfect man. The perfect man is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Sayyidina Adam was a reflection of the perfect man who was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because the perfect man never, never will disobey Allah Almighty. Never even a thought come to him to disobey Allah Almighty. No thought for him. A perfect man, no shadow for him. A perfect man, he, he has existence. Because he is the one representing the, the existence of Allah Almighty. He is representing Allah Almighty in His creation. And for this He can inspire and He can switch on from His light or over the shadows to creation so that to appear as shadows and to have existence by the existence of Allah Almighty. And for Him there is no shadow. And for this Rasulullah never He used to have a shadow. Rasulullah no shadow for Him. Whenever he was walking under sun, no shadow for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Because he is a one representing the Creator, Allah Almighty. He is representing the divinely godly world of Allah Almighty. He is representing not only the Malakut, but he is present, representing the Jabalut of Allah Almighty and representing the Lahut of Allah Almighty. Because from this, all these two reverses, heaven till you reach to Sidrat al Muntaha, to this tree which Sayyidina Jabir is standing, keeping, there were. The leaves of this tree is contains leaves according to the number of creation Allah created them. And every leaf it has the name of one of the creation. And Sayyidina Jibreel salam is keeping this tree. He always sitting under it. It is like a throne for him. 
then that becomes it is the mul, the kingdom of Allah Almighty. From Jibreel to the throne, it is Malakut of Allah Almighty. From throne to the Wahdaniya, oneness of Allah Almighty is the word of Jabalut of Allah Almighty. From oneness of Allah Almighty, Wahdaniya, to Ahadiya, to uniqueness of Allah Almighty, is the divine, the word of Lahul, that's the word of Allah Almighty, which no one can interfere or enter into it, only must be a God, and there is no God except Allah Almighty, and so no one can interfere or enter into it. Only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is representing and reflecting this divine because he was to the world of Wahdaniya of Jabalud, where he represents the Wahdaniya, the oneness of Allah Almighty. And for this Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is the one representing the divine the names and divine the attributes and the divine the godly tongues and the divine the godly words of Allah Almighty for all creation. And he is the one through him is giving to the heart of Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu wa sallam Allah wajah and from them to Sahaba and from Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq Sayyid and Sayyidina Ali to their successors. Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq Rasulullah says, I am the city of secrets and realities and wisdom, and Siddiq is the door of the city. I am the city of knowledge, and Ali is the door of the city. And so the successor of Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq, all grand shaykhs of the Sultan of Awliya, Mawlana Shaykh they are the cities, the doors of the city of secrets and realities and spiritualities and wisdom of the divine the that's the ocean of knowledge which was given to Rasulullah and to Blessed to Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. And the divine ocean of knowledge which was given to Rasulullah and he was dressing it to the heart of Sayyidina Ali and Rabbi Allah and wa sallam Allah wa sallam. And for this you will see that all faulty ways, the Imam of faulty ways, all of them they are coming from Sayyidina Ali and Rabbi Allah and wa sallam Allah wa sallam. While on the Siddiq way, the way which Allah chooses for Rasulullah. Allah Almighty says to Rasulullah in the Holy Quran, وَأَلَّوْ اِسْتَقَامُوا عَلَى الصَّرِيقَةِ لَأَسْقَيْنَاهُمْ مَا أَنْغَدَقَ If they keep the way which I choose it for you, my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I will make them to, be, to drink from this divine ocean of realities and secrets and wisdom which gives them life spiritual life, malakuti life, life from the oneness, wahdaniya and uniqueness of Allah Almighty. It is written in the Holy Quran like this, in Surah Al-Jinn, Allah will give them water of life from these divine the fountains of wisdom and secrets. And this way, which Allah chooses for Rasulullah, Rasulullah is the Imam of it. And he is appointing who represents him in this way chosen by Allah Almighty is Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq. And from this from Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq he was the channel for all the grand shaykhs and Sultan of Awliya to reach to the divinely that the world of realities and secrets and wisdom. And this world is totally different from the divine, the ocean of knowledge which was given to Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu wa sallam Allah wa What is the difference between the two cities? What is the difference between the city of the divine, the ocean of knowledge and the divine, the ocean of secrets and wisdom and realities? The difference as the difference between Sayyidina Ali and Sayyidina Abu Bakr al -Sabir. The difference between all successors of Sayyidina Ali and successors of Sayyidina Abu Bakr al -Sabir is the same as the difference between Sayyidina Ali and Sayyidina Abu Bakr al -Sabir. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu wa sallam Allah waja, he was given from Rasulullah by the order of Allah Almighty 
the city of knowledge, which means the city of all divine, the godly knowledge, which related to the divine, the godly world of names and divine, the world, godly world of attributes of Allah Almighty. Names and attributes of Allah Almighty, these are the divine, the ocean of knowledge given to Sayyidina Ali. This is city of knowledge related to the names and to the attributes of Allah Almighty. And for this all his successors, the Imam of 40 ways, like for example Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Gailani, Sayyidina Muhyiddin ibn al-Arabi, Sayyidina Jalal ibn al-Rumi, all these big awliya, Sayyidina al-Junaid, Sayyidina Hassan al-Wazri, all they are taken from the names and attributes of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah who is the city of knowledge through Sayyidina Ali, through the twelve Imam and Gulbayt and through Sayyidina Al-Hasan and Sayyidina Al-Hussain. And what is the difference? Sayyidina Abu Bakr is the leader, what he represents? What is the meaning of the divine, the godly ocean of reality, secrets and wisdom? Means that <coughs> Allah Almighty blessing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam over the attributes of Allah Almighty, over the names and the attributes. The names and the attributes are the flag of the essence of Allah Almighty. The names refer to the attributes. And the attributes of Allah Almighty, they are the flag referring to the essence of Allah Almighty. By the attributes, you know the essence of Allah Almighty. You cannot know Allah Almighty, His essence, without His attributes. The attributes are the flag show, reflecting or showing our signs to us that there is an essence which has these attributes and things. And so Allah Almighty, letting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be all the time busy in the Divine the presence of the essence, facing the essence of Allah Almighty. <coughs> and for this he inherited to Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq to be busy and facing always the essence of Allah Almighty. And from the essence of Allah Almighty is coming these realities and wisdoms and secrets, and this is the city of realities and secrets and wisdom which represented by the essence of Allah Almighty, the reflection of the essence of Allah Almighty. And for this, the successor of Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, who is representing the Imamiyya of this Siddiq in Akshubandi way, on behalf of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all his successors, the Sultan of Awliya Mawlana Shaykh Nazir, they are busy with the essence of Allah Almighty, Allah. They are with the that, with the essence of Allah Almighty. While the faulty ways, they are busy with the names and attributes of Allah Almighty. So how other they will go high and high, only they reach to the attributes. While these successors of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, they reach to the essence of Allah Almighty. And the essence of Allah Almighty, no one reaches and was able to reach in facing it except Rasulullah in Mi'raj, in night journey, when Allah Almighty invited him to meet him. And he was then ascending over the maqam of Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam 500,000 years from one heaven to another until he crossed five heavens over Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam where he met there the descending of the essence of Allah Almighty and he was facing face to face and for this quickly he was going to to use in between the hands and the face of Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty blessing him from the light of this essence that he told him, raise your head and describe me. Describe me, my beloved Muhammad. Describe my essence. And he was telling him, Subhanaka la ya subhan wa Praise be to you, Allah Almighty. There is no 
anyone can describe you. How much there is one who can describe fully a one, even though no chance for them to describe you, Allah Almighty. And the essence of Allah Almighty is a reflection and descending of the absolute identity of Allah Almighty. And the absolute identity of Allah Almighty is a reflection of the hidden treasure. Allah Almighty saying, I am a hidden treasure. I want to be known. I create the creation. And by me, they know me. So that when the will of Allah Almighty that he must be known, that Allah Almighty appearing first of all, Muhammad Rasulullah, peace of Prophet, to represent the godly word of Allah Almighty, from whom all creation was created and appearing, and all of them they know Allah Almighty, by Allah Almighty, through the field of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Prophet Allah Almighty, from that time, when there was no time, because Allah created time, connecting the name of Rasulullah with his name, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all the day say, from three eternal, because no time, because Allah Almighty over time. Connecting his name means that anything appearing must appear through Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for this Rasulullah was facing and in between the hands of the essence of Allah Almighty where Rasulullah was not able to describe it. And then Allah Almighty was making a seclusion face to face, sitting with Rasulullah, making a seclusion between him and Rasulullah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when you see Allah Almighty making him to sit, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam approach to enter to the divine presence of Allah Almighty, Mawlana say, the hadith of Rasulullah, Allah told him, stop my beloved Muhammad, by the voice of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. Your God is slain. And then he told him to proceed. And when he entered, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was shy to step by his feet on the carpet. In between the hands of Allah Almighty, in front of Allah Almighty, there is the carpet of majesty of Allah Almighty. How is this carpet? This carpet is like a huge diamond. Not carpet like this, no. It is a huge diamond. In every less than blink of an eye, the color will change and that color will reflect from this diamond. Allah Almighty, when His light shining on this diamond, which is one thing, when Allah reflecting on it, Allah Almighty reflecting his, from His Holy Face light and this light represents the creation. Creation coming from them. And this light entering into this carpet like this example, like a diamond, but a huge jewel, no one can describe it. And then instead to reflect up, they are reflecting, coming down under this jewel to appear in the divine light. That's the world of Malakur and Mulk and Kingdom of Allah Almighty to be creation. And this is the and this is called in Arabic Al Adam. Al Adam. Subhanahu Khalaq al Khalqa min al Adam is Adam. Praise be to Allah Almighty who create everything from no existence. And then he makes them to have no existence. Because they were died, coming from the holy face of Allah Almighty by his will, and they are reflecting on this jewel, and from this jewel they are reflecting to appear as shadow creation of Allah Almighty. And this shadow means where there is no existence anymore. Because it is like an ocean containing all creation to remain in it. 
never going. Only shadows of this light will be reflected and appearing as creation in Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so this Rasulullah was shy to step on it and with his shoes. Because he was dressing his shoes, Rasulullah, when Jibreel came to say, ascend him to Allah Almighty. And Allah Almighty told him, don't take off your shoes, but step on me by your shoes. And not the shoes, the shoes which we know, but the shoes which Allah Almighty ordered Sayyidina Musa to take off. Take off your humanity and your ego and come to me, Musa. For so Rasulullah, no more humanity or ego. He, was, he has a godly ego, he has a godly self, not ego, godly self, Muhammad self, and he has no humanity, he has only a godly light body, Allah blessing to him, when he crossed over Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, the physical body was totally finished, and only he was ascending by his reality, which represents the divine, the godly world of Allah Almighty. And for this, no humanity or nothing ego for him. And for this, he told himself, with your dark self and with your light on my, not only carpet, my beloved Muhammad, by your feet and by your shoes, step on my throne and sit me and be on my throne, my beloved Muhammad. And he was making him to sit, to sit on the throne of Allah Almighty. Because Allah created the throne. Allah is the creator, and the throne is created by Allah Almighty. Allah created the throne for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mawlana says, Sultan of Awliya. Allah Almighty created the throne for the field of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because you think a created thing, the throne is a created thing, can carry a creator, then Never. Creator. He is a creator. If he must have a throne, must be uncreated throne for Allah Almighty. A created throne can carry a creator? Never. And for this nothing can carry Allah Almighty. Only he carry himself by himself. And the throne was created for seed of Prophet and all this invitation for Mi'raj ascending is to give Rasulullah this throne and sit, this is your master, this position, your throne to sit and to represent me on my wahdaniya, on my oneness for all my creation by beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like this, Mawlana Sultan of Awliya, Mawlana Shaykh Nazim was giving this sohbah in the uh, translating it from Grand Shaykh in the last time part of the night, one Juma uh, day, Friday day, for us. We were two, three only, me, my brother, and uh, like this, no one had there was. And he was mentioning about this divine the knowledge, which cannot be uh, imagined or we cannot be understood by this ear, must only have ability on behalf of what one can get from this knowledge. And this kind of knowledge, and this knowledge, not like the ocean of knowledge of the 40 ways, this knowledge, they are related to the secrets and wisdom and realities and spiritualities which is reflected from the essence of Allah Almighty to the essence of Rasulullah, to the reality of Rasulullah in the night journey, in the mi'raj of Rasulullah. Because Allah Almighty, when He was making seclusion, no need to talk with Rasulullah. Only welcoming him, then Allah Almighty he put his hand in between the shoulder of Rasulullah. And Rasulullah he said, when Allah Almighty put his uh, hand in between my shoulder, without how, I am feeling still now with the coldness of the hand and he inhabiting me all kind of knowledge from the spiritualities and realities and from the divine the ocean of knowledge and the, the Sharia knowledge. And he told me one knowledge, keep it for yourself. This is the knowledge of prophecy, field of prophecy. And one knowledge, give it to the children of your Sahaba. 
And one knowledge of Sharia given to all, to common ones, to all Sahaba and to all children of Adam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then Allah Almighty, he calls them, any question, he say no, Allah Almighty. I don't have any question, already he gives me everything. But only I want to have some explanation. And what is the explanation? He told them, we pray for you. To whom you are praying? That the boy is coming. Talk to God is praying. To whom you are praying? We pray to the Creator. We pray to our God, Allah Almighty. But Allah to whom is praying? And he was telling them, I am praying my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To myself, by myself. I am not in need for all the creation to pray for me or worship me. I am not going to increase by their worshiping or to decrease if they don't worship me. I am praising myself by myself. Say, Subhani, Subhani, praise me to me, praise to me. And I am praying on you, my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as your nation to for others, to be always in ascending, in mi'raj, in ascending in, in, in my divine presence. I have the word coming by the voice of my friend, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. Is he before me here? And Allah Almighty is telling him, not yet I created a creation to be in this makar, in my divine presence of my divine essence, except you, my beloved Muhammad sallallahu Neither angels, or Jibreel, or Abu Bakr al siddiq or anyone. All of them, they represent you, but you are representing me. Only you, I created you for this maqam. And then he told him in your door, before I enter to your, uh, to your home, I found a big, huge lion roaring, and all malaika in all heaven, they are shivering from the roaring of this lion. He said, Allah Almighty, he told them, this nothing, this, this lion is the reality of your cousin, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu wa sallam Allah In my divine presence, always on my door, like a lion roaring, making all malaika to be always shivering from the majesty of Allah Almighty. And I make you to hear my voice by the voice of Sayyidina Abu Bakr, of Abu Bakr Siddiq, because no one gives you familiarity and happiness except your friend Abu Bakr Siddiq. And this horrible maqam you are quoting, so entering into your heart some kind of uh, wahsha. Yani, what is wahsha? Pleasure. Comfort, pressure, comfort. Not comfort, no. The pressure? Pressure, then, yani he was under stress, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from this all horrible uh, ocean of life crossing over Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi wa sallam, where he lost his humanity and his physical body, and he was left totally on the life of Allah Almighty through whom he was. Representing and the creating from it was ascending to the divine presence of Allah Almighty by his scripture of Rasulullah to me, the essence of Allah Almighty. And so he was under stress and he told them, I make you to hear the voice of the deep because by the voice of the deep you will feel comfort and in peace. For this I am making you to hear my voice by the voice of the deep. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah told him, now you must go down to your physical body again to complete the message and to bring all children of Adam and your nation to my divine brother. He said, oh Allah Almighty, I am not going to come to go down. I am here, it's enough for me. I don't want to come down. Then Allah Almighty, firstly, in this thing, you must go, then Allah Almighty told them, the, your reality will remain. You remain here, only one beam uh, ray from your reality, I will send it to your physical body again to represent me by this only one beam of light from the reality which remain up. And he told them, oh Allah Almighty, I am, I am seeing you. 
I am face to face to you. Then in physical life, I cannot in physical body feel. Allah told them, I am going to open for you for this view of life coming from you really to the physical body. And every prayer I will open for you to have an ascending to meet me face to main face, to see me as now you are seeing me, even by your physical body. And for this Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Hubbara ilayya min dunyakum sallam, Allah Almighty make me to love from you life three things. He makes me to love the woman, because all women go into 99% were sentenced to Jahannam. So Allah makes him to love the woman, so by his love Allah save all of them. For so anything Rasulullah will love, Allah will save for women. And for this now women all save, but men not save, because he doesn't love men. <laughs> Then he said, I, Allah makes me to love the good, nice men, nice perfume. And the third thing are, he said, Allah make my uh, pupil of my eyes to be much more valuable than, than the prayer, the final prayer, the salah, the prayer, to pray. Because in the prayer, Allah Almighty open to him to see Allah Almighty, to be always seeing the essence of Allah Almighty. Which means the much more valuable than my pupils of my eyes is Allah Almighty. And I am seeing Him in every prayer. And for this Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu wa sallam Allah wa He said, the prayer of a real woman, a real believer, is mi'raj, ascending. Just he reaching, starting Allah wa reaching a tahiyyat saluting Allah Almighty, giving us tahiyyat directly to Allah Almighty. He must be in between the hands of Allah Almighty. And for this one day, the tooth of Sayyidina Ali was failing him too much, and like this, swollen. And so they tried to take it, no one can dare to take it from Sayyidina Ali. It was too much paining. Then Rasulullah told them, leave him. When he is praying, when he's reaching at to Allah, take it. Then Sayyidina Ali was in prayer and reaching at to Allah, the dentist of Rasulullah came and he quickly, easily take the tooth of Sayyidina Ali. Sayyidina Ali, after finishing the prayer, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, he feel no more pain, nothing. He put his finger, he found no teeth anymore. The tooth went. Then he saw some drops of blood. Then Rasulullah was smiling, telling him, you will do it, we, we took it off from you. And he was not feeling. And he was busy by the divinely attributes and names of Allah Almighty. By the beautiness of Allah Almighty. How you think the one like the people is busy with the essence and the beautiness and majesty of the essence of Allah Almighty. And like this now Sultan of Awliya representing the facing of the essence of Allah Almighty and the beautiness and majesty of the essence, not attributes and names, but the essence of Allah Almighty and all grand shapes, they are representing the essence of Allah Almighty and the essence of the reality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for the way, 124,000 awliya, mm -hmm. most of them, the majority, I mean 99% of them from the 40 ways, only 1% of them or less from the Naqshbandi way. Because the Naqshbandi way, from time of Rasulullah sallallahu to Yawm al Qiyamah, there is only 7,007 imams for it. 7,007 imams only for it. In every period of time, Allah will send 100, 200 Imams all over the awliya, and only 40 grand shaykhs whom they are successors of Rasulullah and Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq to represent the essence of Allah Almighty and reality of Rasulullah. Only 40 in all this period of time. And so between 124,000 awliya, 100, 200 Imams, and one Sultan of Awliya, as if 
less than one percent they would be. And the ninety-nine percent would be all from the party ways, whom they are busy with the ocean of knowledge of the divine beings and attributes of Allah Almighty. And for this the knowledge coming from Sultan of Aulia much more higher and deeper from the knowledge coming from all other awliya. All other awliya, as Shem Adil of Al-Arabi, Shem Abdul and Jainani, all, they give from the names and attributes of Allah Almighty. While Sultan of Awliya, Mawlana, and all Grand Shaykh will give from the knowledge of the essence of Allah Almighty. May Allah Almighty forgive us and mercy us and let us try uh, to be analyzing فَنَاءٌ فِي اللَّهِ بَقَاءٌ فِي اللَّهِ اللهم ارزقنا فَنَاءٌ فِي اللَّهِ بَقَاءٌ فِي اللَّهِ فَنَاءٌ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بَقَاءٌ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ فَنَاءٌ فِي مَوْلَانَا شَيْخِ مُحَمَّدْ نَازِمُ الْحَقَّانِ مَوْلَانَا شَيْخِ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ الثَّانِي أَوْلِ الْغَانِ شَيْخِ إِلَّا رَبُّكَ الصَّدِيقِ بَقَاءٌ فِي مَوْلَانَا شَيْخِ مُحَمَّدْ نَازِمُ الْحَقَّانِ مَوْلَانَا شَيْخِ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ الثَّانِي أَوْلِ الْغَانِ شَيْخِ إِلَّا رَبُّكَ الصَّدِيقِ فَنَاءٌ فِي سَيِّدِنَا عَلِي أَنْتَ أَوْفَرْ فِي وَيْدِ أَنْ تَقَاءَ فِي سَيِّدِنَا عَلِي أَنْ أَوْفَرْ فِي وَيْدِ فناء في صاحب الزمان سيدنا محمد الماضي أن سيدنا عيسى أن هذا الثواني فور تاوزن تروبس أن تقاء إنزام والله أرمائي تدرس أس أن جيب أس أن جيب أس والله أرمائي تدرس أس باي دي مقام الفرداني باي دي يونيكنس مقام which is the twin of the مقام of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن ميك أس والله أرمائي تدو دي Entering into the ocean of uniqueness, in the of push, pull, push us into the uh, oceans of uniqueness, ocean of wahdani, of oneness of you, Allah Almighty, and ocean of tamadiyya, tamadani of Allah Almighty, and let our hearts and our sight and light to Allah Almighty, and make us a light from your uniqueness, light from your oneness. Light from you, Samadani, O Allah, O Allah. Allah, 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 Azim, Allah, 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 Azim, Allah, 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 Forgive us, grant us, bless us, O Allah, and bless us by good tidings, save us from fire, give us strong iman, give us good and O Allah, O Allah, Husn al-Fatima, Ya Allah. Make us sincere servants to you, bless our hearts, and bless us by the last of you, good enough and majesty, O Allah, O Allah. Make us sincere ummah to Rasulullah, bless us by light of the reality of Rasulullah. Bless us by the secret of prophecy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bless us by holy trees of you, Allah Almighty, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Make us sincere, holy to one ancient, brother to one ancient, to all the ancient, say in our custody and say in the act. And to all the awliya, bless us and our heart by their light and their money to Allah Almighty. So Allah Almighty make us reach time of Tawah Bidana Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Mahdi and Sayyidina Ayyidina And bless us by their lives and make us sincere followers and lovers to them, lovers to you Allah Almighty, lovers to Rasulullah, lovers to Mawlana Shaykh, lovers to Ghan Shaykh and to all Ghan Shaykh and Sayyidina Abbas 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 Open and let divine the ocean of mercy to Allah Almighty. Save us, to Allah Almighty. Protect us, to Allah Almighty, and all our families and all Ummah of Rasulullah, nation of Rasulullah, the Hamad al Habib, the Hamad al Sadr. Any questions? No problem. Yeah, yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, how good, nice, Baba. The whole time, opening the station. Evening time, teaching the station. 
be careful from shaitan and his trap, be according to sharia, worship Allah Almighty, pray, be careful, be worried from Allah, this evening station. Now this station, reality station, because the whole time only chosen one here. Uh, evening, plenty coming, we don't know if they have ability or not. So Maulana, according to their ability, will open the station. Now opening the station, the ability now, mashallah, very high. You are taking this secret planting into your house. And the evening will be something else. According to what station Maulana will open. Nothing in my hand. I am listening as you are listening. Maulana teaching from all kinds of stations and levels and knowledge. From the lowest one to reach to Baba Tawtain, to both of that. He has all, from up to down, levels to give from these stations. Like this Sultan of Audi. And Sultan of Audi are cheap or free like this? No. Not only by time saying Sultan of Audi, Allah blessing him Sultan of Audi. Rasulullah blessing him Sultan of Audi. Not you and me blessing him Sultan of Audi. As one soldier, one, he saw always officers coming, giving them orders. And the soldier must do what the officer will give. So he said, why I'm not an officer? So he put some stuff together. <laughs> And we are the officers. And they, the officers run as we want him to read the names of the soldiers or no. They read the names, and his name was in between the soldiers. He saw that three, four stars here. You are officer or soldier? You know, you have to I put stars, I am now officer. They know my son, not like this, but come from the uh, higher uh, commander. Commander from the Minister of Defense, from us, from the President or from the King, to appoint you by the star. Not you can put star and finish, you say, I hope you can. And like this, if Allah Almighty not blessing and Rasulullah, not me or you can say Sultan of Awliya to bless him Sultan of Awliya. No, Allah blessing him and Rasulullah. We can bless each other all kinds of rank. But it is all false and correct. How much you put stars? Nothing. If it's not coming from us, nothing. And so this is really for some of Audiya. From Allah Almighty and Rasulullah. Only Audiya know. Some of one day don't know. Every one day you think his shape is also my shape is the son of Audiya. Why not? Uh, he is dressing him to son of Audiya. Must come from Allah Almighty and Rasulullah. Is Allah Almighty and Rasulullah dressing all awliya to be Sultan of Awliya? No. Sultan is one. Cannot be two Sultan. Rasulullah said if there is two Sultan or two Khalifa, kill one and keep one. إلى شرف النبي سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله وصحبه وسلم 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 وس